After having a down year last season, the Raptors have been one of the more overlooked teams in the league. They went from being NBA champions to a solid team to a team landing the 4th overall pick in the 2021 NBA Draft. The Raptors have quietly built a very promising team for the future, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Even though their record says otherwise, last season was a good season for the franchise. Not just because they landed Scotty Barnes, but they also developed some solid role players. During the season, many key pieces were injured. Pascal Siakam only played 56 games, Gary Trent Jr. played 58 games, OG Ananobi played 43, and Fred Van Vliet played 52. So the Raptors decided to tank games since they weren't going to win anyways. This was a young team and their players were able to make strides in the right direction. Players like Kem Birch, Chris Boucher, and Makai Flynn came out of nowhere and became solid role players. A lot of fans didn't tune into the Raptors games and they just looked at the bad record even though the development of this team looked promising. They ended the season with a 27-45 record and drafted Scotty Barnes with the 4th overall pick. When the Raptors drafted Scotty, the Raptors front office got a lot of pushback. The majority of fans thought that Jalen Suggs was the guy to draft. Raptors fans were split into two groups. The first group thought that the Raptors messed up by drafting Scotty Barnes and the second group trusted that Masai Ujiri made the right pick. As the season panned out, Scotty Barnes is in real contention to win Rookie of the Year. So compared to Scotty Barnes, Jalen sucks. <laughs> Anyways, he is a bright spot on this team and that's the only part of the Raptors that the media shows. The rest of the team is going under the radar. The Raptors have a roster of Fred Van Vliet, OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, Gary Trent Jr., Precious Achua, Goran Dragic, Chris Boucher, Kem Birch, and Mekhi Flynn. That is a pretty deep roster full of young players. This team has a good amount of potential, but the defensive potential on this roster is insane. This team has good one-on-one -on -one defenders, but they also have good team defenders. You always want to give the other team's best player a tough time to score, but sometimes one-on-one -on -one defense alone isn't enough. Good offense beats good defense, and in today's NBA, the offense is talented as it's ever been. That's when team defense comes in. Other players can get into passing lanes, help onto other players, switch for the best matchup, rotate and close out, and having versatile defenders makes this 10 times better. The Raptors have the best of both worlds. Players like OG Ananobi and Scotty Barnes are the two main defenders to guard the best players on the other team. Those two guys can defend all players 1 through 4. Those are the best one-on-one -on -one defenders on the team, but the Raptors' team defense is through the roof. Almost everyone on this team is a good defender. So far this season, the Raptors are second in the league in steals with 9.6 steals a game. They have three players in the top 20 when it comes to steals. Gary Trent Jr. is leading the way for the Raptors as he is tied for second in the league at 2.1 steals a game. OG Ananobi is averaging 1.5 steals per game and Fred Van Vliet is averaging 1.7. Fred Van Vliet can get into passing lanes and is a great team defender. OG Ananobi will be in the conversation of making the all defensive team this year. Scotty Barnes and Pascal Siakam can do it all as well. The only thing they can't do is guard really big centers. Every single player on this team has a wingspan that is longer than their height and that's a huge reason why the Raptors lead the league in deflections. They also make their opposing team generate the second most turnovers in the league at 16.6 turnovers a game. Because of their long wingspans and great versatility, this lets the Raptors run an effective small ball lineup. They have Fred Van Vliet at the 1, Gary Trent Jr. at the 2, a mixture of Scotty Barnes, OG Ananobi, or Pascal Siakam at the 3 and 4, and Precious Achua at the 5. Fred Van Vliet has a 6'2 wingspan while being 6 feet tall. Gary Trent Jr. has a 6'9 wingspan. Scotty Barnes has a 7'3 wingspan. OG Ananobi has a 7'2 wingspan. Pascal Siakam has a 7'3 wingspan. And Precious Achua has a 7'1 wingspan. Fred Van Vliet and Gary Trent Jr. will guard the other team's guards and will do so at a high level. Gary Trent will take on the better one as he is the better on-ball defender. Fred Van Vliet is by no means a bad defender, it's just Gary Trent is better in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Fred Van Vliet can get into passing lanes and play help defense as well. That's his bread and butter on defense. 
Scotty Barnes, OG Ananobi, and Pascal Siakam all defend in similar ways. They can all guard players 1-4 through four, and they are quick on their feet and are very very versatile. OG will probably guard the, the other team's best wing player but it honestly doesn't matter too much. The combination of the three of them can do it all on the defensive end and are perfect for switches because they are so versatile. Precious Achua is the anchor to the defense. Before coming to Toronto, he was playing down in Miami and you could tell he learned a thing or two from Bam Adebayo. He is an undersized center, but he is very strong and has a 7-1 wingspan to make up for it. This lineup is as versatile as it gets, and they are young, so in a few years, this could be a dangerous team. Fred Van Vliet is 27 years old, Gary Trent is 22, OG Ananobi is 24, Pascal Siakam is 27, Scotty Barnes is 20, and Precious Achua is 22. That is a pretty young team. And when they're that young, that means they have a ton of potential. Defense is the culture of the Toronto Raptors, and it has been for years. This trend will continue, and they are going to be a future defensive powerhouse. This season, they are already a good defensive team, and they are showing what they could become later down the line. The Toronto Raptors have an average age of 25.2. To put that into perspective, that is the exact same number as the Orlando Magic and Houston Rockets. People think that they have done a good job rebuilding and that they have a bright future ahead of them. Toronto has a much better roster right now and a lot of NBA fans don't realize this. If the Raptors wanted to, they could trade some of their older players to contenders to get even younger. Right now, no matter what the record might be, all they need to do is grow. Growth and development is the most important thing that they can do right now. A, a successful Raptors season is not determined if they make the playoffs or not, it's just pure growth and development. I think the Raptors are capable of making a playoff push, or they could decide to get a high pick in the lottery again. They struck gold last draft, and maybe Masai Ujiri wants to try it again. No matter the outcome of the season, I expect Toronto to make strides in the right direction and to slowly become one of the better young teams in the league. The Toronto Raptors have quietly been building a defensive future powerhouse and not a lot of people are noticing it. Thankfully, you watched to the end of the video, so you can already see it coming. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like as it does help me a lot. I read every single comment, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe for future basketball content, and thank you for watching.